Welcome to tonight's episode of Public Domain Theater. I've been getting some feedback from some people who have watched the show and they love it. They may be family, friends, and people who have contacted me on Facebook and YouTube, but hey, a compliment is a compliment and I really do appreciate it. But I've got to give a special shout out to my niece Asia and her family who sent me this photo. That's her son, Cole, watching Destroy All Planets. Hi Cole, if you're watching tonight's movie, The Cape Town Affair, Please explain the plot to me. Before I get started with this week's film, I'd suggest that if you get seasick easily, you may want to get some Dramamine right about now. The opening credits are a bit shaky. This 1967 spy film starring Jacqueline Bisset, James Brolin, and Academy Award winner Claire Trevor commits the unforgivable sin of being slow-paced and confusing. Brolin plays Skip McCoy, a well-dressed pickpocket who steals Bissett's wallet in the film's opening scene. Like the guy in the $4,000 suit is going to need some extra cabbage? Come on! He's not after the money. He's after the microfilm. Even in 1960s South Africa, everyone knows that spy films have to have microfilm and a bone to pick with the Russians. I have a bone to pick with the filmmakers. Why did you have to muffle all the dialogue? You've got three genuinely talented actors. Why were you afraid to have them speak clearly? Was it so the audience wouldn't be able to tell that they're not speaking with South African accents? It would also seem that the only reason that Claire Trevor was cast as Sam, the world's first and only information slash necktie salesperson, is that because comedian Phyllis Diller was booked at Caesars through August. Still, its two main stars are pretty to look at, and the soundtrack has some nice, upbeat, kicky moments, even though it's as erratic as an iPod shuffle with ADHD. Get your popcorn and your soda, make note of the nearest emergency exit, and switch off your cell phone or pager. Public Domain Theater proudly presents Claire Trevor, Jacqueline Bissett, and James Brolin, starring in The Cape Town Affair. Hopefully the Dramamine will take effect in three, two... One. Damn, Mom, I got my headgear on. <clears throat> oh. Um, well, there it is. The Thomas Crap, I mean, the Cape Town Affair. You know, despite the fact that the acting was bad and the pacing was lackadaisical and the plot was borrowed from many other spy movies, it wasn't that bad. It makes total sense that Candy would fall in love with Skip, the man who robbed her. <laughs> it's pretty common, actually. I can't tell you how many times I've fallen in love with someone just because they've stolen my wallet. The joke ends up being on them, though. All they end up with is torn movie stubs and a TJ Maxx gift card I can't seem to get rid of. Well, anyway, I hope the Dramamine worked. If you'd like to leave me a message, suggest a movie to show, or just plain say hello, you can do just that at the Public Domain Theater Facebook page. Twitter, we're at Cherokee Jack, or on YouTube, just look for FL Warmer. It's like Fly Warmer without the Y. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Paul Fish, and I'm going to get back to my nap. <sighs> <sighs> Oh wow, I can see in the monitor there the two different cameras. 
<laughs> but I've got to give a special. Sh I need. To, I need to get a special drink of water. Hi, Cole. If you're watching tonight's movie, The Cape Town Affair, please explain the plot to me. Can we start over? The air conditioning kicked on. Commits the unforgivable sin of being slow-paced and confusing. Roland Pen... <sighs> Roland Pen... Before I get started with this week's film, I'd suggest that if you get seasick easily, can you hear those guys in the background? 